Good day, YouTube. I hope you're all well. Well, better than me anyway. My blimmin' throat. Anyway, welcome to episode 8 of the Hat Trick Manager series. In today's episode, we will do a quick catch up on the end of last season. Did we get fourth place? Then we start for preparation for the training cycle for the new season. First time I'm doing a training cycle, so you will have to bear with me. Maybe we'll learn together. I will be looking at other videos and tips and tricks from other people. If you've done a really good training cycle, let me know in the comment sections. Maybe you can help me, because I'll probably need it. If you wish to watch more amazing videos like this one and further content on Hattrick and Football Manager, I would highly recommend you to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any future videos. Right, let's jump right in. Right, so last time we pretty much was nearly there with fourth place. We was getting nearer and nearer. And I was getting very, very excited. Did we do it? No, no, we missed out. So as you can see, season's finished. And we came fifth, one point shy. Good news is, I think this was our best ever finish on points wise anyway. Uh, maybe goal difference as well. So remember, plus 17 and 24. No, minus 18. Massive difference. 15 last season. It's 9 point difference. 17 minus 8. And then we wasn't there. Our best season in Division 5 so far to date. And we are yet to do our training cycle and bring in some experienced players to give us that push which I believe the other teams have over us. So that's what we're going to start looking at today. We will just quickly run into our last few fixtures of last season i think our slip up well not even a slip up uh yeah actually yeah it was a slip up i think i left you that we beat helix 1-0 5-0 then lost it ifly we knew that was going to happen then we got a draw against newark rangers which was a great result then we slipped up a bot team we drew against one all we was away but i think i played probably to try and get my team spirit up so i played us all calm get team spirit up and it kind of paid off in a little bit as well because we drew against fx power so you, if you think that we beat helix and then within our last games we drew against newark rangers and fx power let's just quickly go back to uh, for the lead table and this is where f1 finishes so we beat helix twice we drew to newark rangers and we drew to fx power all in the last games of the season pretty good right yes there was a slip up against banana bandits who don't exist anymore but that was pretty pretty good to the end of the season and then we played just two dead club spot teams beating them 4-0 2-0 and missed out on a point so that means we had to play on playoffs and we beat a bot team 8-0 and to be fair i think i even forgot to choose my team so the computer chose it and we still won 8-0 luckily i imagine if we actually played an actual team and they might have just had a serious team who knows but we got through and we're still in Division 5, so our plan is still on. We are today going to be looking at what players to keep. I think we've already done that, so we need to buy some new training players. Or do we need to change tactics? We're going to look at what we discussed previously and start looking at who we need to bring in to fill some experience holes. Dun, 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 dun. Right, so I've updated my... <clears throat> that was really loud. do apologise about my throat. It's... Just hasn't been right for the last few weeks. Sore throat, colds, vomiting, you name it. Something's going around and I'm always bloody getting it. Right, back onto football. So I've updated my database. I hadn't done it for a little while. Naughty me. But to be fair, I've been waiting for the start of the season to really, really start pushing in. So, because I'm... I, I'm excited. I'm excited to try something different if it all goes messed up. <laughs> to be fair, we're in a great position of that. With the teams in this league, the worst case scenario is that I'm going to end up with fifth, probably on 15, 16 points. We need to change everything to defending. We haven't played our first league game yet. I have set up some tactics in our usual formation, 3-5-2. But I think it's time to take that risk. I think it's time to... I've made a plan and we need to take action. We need to do it. Right, so what does this plan entail? We're going to be playing a 5-3-2 and we're training defending. How is my team going to look? So I guess in, because these are my main players in my training cycle, 
that's going to be my A team in midfield. So if we put A and mid, uh, we can put I am. So they're, they're there. But also, what we need to do is because we want to get them trained up, we're going to put them into my B team for training defending. And then A team. We still need to be competitive. We still need to show some sort of competitiveness. But ideally, I want to just. But also, we need to make some money. And good thing is that we train all five in defending. Because in playmaking, you don't. What does that mean? What does that mean? Now, if we look at our team in defense, this is who we've got. We've got four central defenders. And let's just look at it in a basic term. And we've got one at 13, who's 23 years old. And then two at 11. So I, I could say, you know what, we could get them trained up a little bit more. 23, 22, 24 for that first season. But then what happens when we move over to passing? Do we also want to get them trained up in passing as well? I was thinking about putting scoring, but scoring only gives you three. Whereas this way, it gives you five, well, ten all the time, really. Well, ten, then ten and then six with some hops. And we have to take that into consideration, as I've already put in orange, that look, these are only halves. So that's where we go, well, actually, to get through for the entire cycle, that's where we have these guys in there. And then, we're consi then we've got six consistently who have been through defending passing for two seasons. And then we go into that. Something along those lines. It's not easy, but we're training defending, passing, playmaking, playmaking. And just see what it brings. That's four seasons, four seasons. See what results we could get out of our players. But this is the start, so we need to do it right. And then Patrick Ludwig will be up top as well. We're then at a team of strikers with David Ferk. We need one centre mid to cover that. Uh, well, to be fair, our wing backs could probably play winger if they need to. Uh, oh no, we're not playing wingers. We're playing 3-5-2, aren't we? Of course. So he will actually just go in there. We don't need wingers, of course. And then what we've got here is we do have these. And I feel like they're a bit dead wood, to be fair. I mean, they're 22. I mean, we could sell them. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in Simon Magoyan. So he's our best. So as I said, I want to keep our best. Uh, do we need to? And there's A. Who's on for least money, I guess? Let's keep Dito. Let's keep Dito. So that means we need to sell... Him, him, and him. Sell them. So that's three players. 13, 13, and a 14. Three players gone out of my team. So actually that, and then that is for cycle. Not this, because they've actually just done that. So actually, what I'm going to do is let's just go on. Yeah, that's what for cycle is. We've done for two already, and there was part of it. Now we want to get them involved in this one. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring actually youngsters in with defending capabilities. Just so that my team's not, I mean, hopefully solid defending in, in all of these. Solid, 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 solid. Great there. Perfect. So I think that's going to be my youth. So bring in one, two, three, four, five, five youth players and sell three main team players. And then once we've done that, I will then look at how can I improve the rest of my team? And I guess that's going to be my strikers. Could it mean Patrick Ludwig remains in my team, but I get rid of these. I get rid of Ferk, David Ferk, and bring in some super striker. And he could be the difference. Right, for planning's done. It's a new day. I had to take a break. I ran out of time yesterday to finish off this video. So I've got the same jumper on, just different t-shirt, if you was wondering. Now that we've done our final planning, of what we're gonna do for the next five seasons, I guess. Is it five seasons? Next four seasons, sorry. I had to look at my spreadsheet now just to remind me. I just recorded literally 20 minutes of footage talking into that mic on mute. I've got to redo this again. So I'm just gonna give you a quick update of what I was doing. And as you see from this page, we've put some players on the transfer list. So if I bring my Excel sheet across, the players we've given rid of are Jacobson, Carlin, and Mag Magarine. So I've transferred these two, a million each. So that's two million in our kitty. And then Simon, because he's a he's still in the 22s, 
means a 14 compared to the other two 13 is 1.3 million. So that's 3.3 million to add to my balance of 5 million. So that's 8.3 million available to us to spend away. Do we want to spend it all? It's there for a reason. We want to make a difference. We want to implement this plan. And plus we had a quick look. So I did some filters on the game for transfers. So what I'm looking for is a player who's 17 years old. Solid defending, solid passing. And if they've got any stats better, great. I'll take you into it actually. So this was kind of a player we was looking at going, could we afford him? We looked at how much he's worth. He's currently, there's players on market around for 230k mark or sold for around that. So that asking price is a bit over of what, what's required. How much would I spend on these players? I think for excellent and excellent, I'd probably go for bigger or solid and excellent with good form because we want to put these into for 18. So we want them to have good stamina. We want them to have good form. I've got this filter. I've got an idea of how much I want to spend. 166, solid, solid. It's powerful. So he's got special. Oh, I like it. 4 million. 4 million. I think I'll go up to 300k. But I go, would I stretch a half a million? I've got a thing. But these players are going to be playing in my main team. Right, anyway, that's enough talk. I'm not going to go through all my bits and pieces. I'm going to go sort my youth team in background. No youth ball today, I'll do that in background. If I get someone good, I will tell you in the next video. Show you him. Um, I will try and buy some players and just give you an update, really. So this is what we're going to do. I'm excited. I'm excited. Hopefully this will make sure that I actually get into this game once a week. Because at the moment, I just feel like it's effort for a lot of effort for no reward. It's because we wasn't doing anything. Well, let's see if this works. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. If you would like to watch more videos like this, please subscribe. And to be notified, click on the bell.